The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. The boys have come over to the wild west coast, although I don't think we'll be experiencing any of the wildness that's here because I very much doubt that we will be leaving the harbour. It is about six o'clock right now. We just had our dinner. Apparently NATO was on dinner tonight, so I made it easy on myself and called into the local fish and chip shop. We're gonna stay on the harbour tonight. Milan's real keen to do a snapper fish later on. And then we're gonna wake up in the morning, find live baits, and then we'll be into some serious kingy fishing. Just gotta go pick Milan up off the wharf and then we'll be headed up the harbour. See what we can find. This harbour, like most harbours, has marker poles, deep channels leading to shallow water, and there's the odd rock or two around as well. So tomorrow's plan will be to pump early. Well, tonight's plan is to pump early as well. Pumping heaps of early, targeting snapper tonight, kingies tomorrow. Looking forward to waking up on the harbour tomorrow morning to just bliss. The forecast for tomorrow is as good as it gets. Looking forward to a couple of days chilling out in a wild west coast harbour targeting the mighty snapper and kingfish as we do. Well, normally when we come into the harbour, it's always my turn first, but since my harbour mojo is really, really bad and Nathan's is really, really good, he is going to have first cast <laughs> before we go for a snapper fish. We just thought we'd come for a look because it would be rude not to. Apparently my favourite stick bait is now an antique and I shouldn't even be fishing it. So the idea is that we're going to throttle out of here if we hook up. Whoa, that's the first time I've cast a big stick bait in a long time. Nice. Oh, that's what we call a cast. A couple of poles, but I don't think there's a couple of fish. I don't have much to report fishing wise but we put the anchor down and we've got the tent up and there's burly pumping we are going to fish into the night and we are perfectly and I mean perfectly positioned to wake up tomorrow morning and get right back to it big step of time Well that there signals bedtime for me because there ain't no snapper fish. I have only just emerged from my tent after Milan saying over and over what a beautiful day it was and I should get out of bed and have a look at it. And he wasn't wrong, today is a stunner. Where the forecast is bang on, it's glass flat everywhere. We've got a beautiful sunrise. Overcast at the moment, but I don't know whether that's gonna hang around at all. Milan has already got the burly pumping. He's fishing, coffee is on. I don't imagine we're gonna hang around here for too much longer. I'll get the tent down, we'll have some breakfast. Then it'll be all about finding live baits and fishing the marker poles and the entrance and little rock structures around the harbour for the mighty kingfish. Hoping like crazy that the green machine is inside the harbour, feeding hard and ready to be caught. That's about the most of it, bro. Looks like crabs. I don't even think I've had a snapper bite. Do you reckon there's no snapper in the harbour or you just can't catch them? I just think I picked a really bad spot to get snapper fishing. Oh. Good, good learning though. Don't go here again? Mm -mm. If I was you, I wouldn't fish here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Our boat is transformed back into a casting machine. Total glass out. She's a stunner of a morning. Milan really wants some live mullet to target kingfish today, so he's trying to jag them right now and going on past experiences. That can take a while, it's a bit of an art form. So I've jumped off on a rock, gonna film some time lapses, chill out on the rock for a bit. The birds are going crazy above my head and I just noticed that there's a few babies running around so I might go and see if I can get a close up on one of them. And other than that, I'm just gonna chill out on the rock and film time lapses until Milan's got a couple of live baits and then we'll be off to find a big kingfish when the tide is right. Mate, West Coast Harbours. West Coast NATOs. But first things first, Kingy's eat in the morning time. We've got lots of big live baits, and I want to slow pull them past that pole. My stick bait just got rejected. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Big live bait and a big kingy is more important. Pack the gear away, this could get real full on, real fast. How many did you get? I got five. Five? Yep. I only seen you get one. I had both my time lapses going when I seen you do it. I should get a bucket and clean up my mess, eh? You should, but let's go. Let's go do this first. Go do that first. What happens if you slip on the mud and fall out of the boat? You'll be like, no fun! Well, then I'm a dumbass. <laughs> you should let me clean it. We do this fishing marker pole thing lots, and 90% of the time there is nothing. But for that other 10% of the time, it is total carnage. Milan's gonna get pulled. There's a kingy there. They got no idea what's about to happen. They got breakfast coming to them on a salt digger. Whoa, oh, that's a good fish, that one, bro. Oh, that one's a tank. Oh, look at it. Oh, you're definitely going to get one, bro. You're definitely going to get one. I reckon NATO's going to get a turn at catching one today. Oh, you don't want to be getting it eaten right there. There, you want to get it eaten. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> he eaten it yet? <laughs> Here we go, Milan. He ain't happy. Oh, please come and eat it right there. Oh, he's got no kingy behind him. He's got no hook on him. Ah, oh, he's got no hook on him. <laughs> That's your heart pounding because mine is. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> oh, the hook came out of the live bait and the live bait just come tearing up beside the boat. And we didn't realise there was no hook in it until the live bait was like right there. There's a bit of a debate going down on where we should hook this mullet. <laughs> it just fell out of the last one's nose. Okay. Round two. I've just put a zoom lens on my phone and gone to 60 frames, hoping for a slow-mo shot of Milan getting smashed. I hope that looks as good as I think it looks in 60 frames slowed right down. Those fish were literally coming out from under the boat to try and eat that mullet. It's just a matter of time before one of those kingfish get head on, get head first, head to head, and that mullet is going to get inhaled. You're still shaking, brother. <laughs> You're still shaking. I'm shaking and I'm just filming it. I can't imagine what it would be like to hang onto the rod. Here we go. Oh, Where's it going now? 
Oh, don't get him on the pole. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, I've got a right for me. You're yep. busted off. Smoked. Still getting used to driving the Minn Kota with the foot pedal, but I reckon once you got that nailed, it leaves you both hands free to fish. That's got to be a good thing. You can see the king. Yeah. And I think this is the one we're going to get him close to the poles. Oh, I can see a kingfish right there. Yeah, he's swimming out to it now. Oh. Rabbit, the boat. We're going rabbit now. Free. Oh, come on, fish. Scoff it. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, that's, oh, they're getting aggressive now. Come on, fish. He ate it. You reckon? Is he eating it? No. No. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> Agonizing. I know it's going to happen, man. Just be patient. Just be patient. There was like half an hour of surface smash after surface smash after surface smash, and they didn't get it. And then they've left it which doesn't kind of make any sense. But is what it is. I'd imagine they're going back to the pole, so so are we. Those fish are on to us, on to us big time, so we've got to change it up. Leland's going to try a few lures, and if that doesn't work, the fly rod's on board. I know they'll eat a fly, but I've got to get stupid amounts of lucky for them to swim away from the poles. Worth a crack though, right? Sluggo time. Do you have a real big one with like a real, not one of those packet set up ones? Yeah, big hook one. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking, Milan. <laughs> this is gonna be good. First up is a sluggo. I reckon the second they see that sluggo, it's gonna get bit. There's no two ways about it. NATO has stupid amounts of confidence. Drag set. <laughs> you look nervous, man. <laughs> Milan's nervous, that's how good this is going to be. Oh, it's just going to get whacked as soon as they see it, I reckon. Breathe, Milan, breathe. <laughs> oh, that's the money. Whoa, whoa, hey, geez, why did that come? Oh. <laughs> His lower's tangled up, it's all twisted up on itself. Oh, he ate it then. <laughs> no, yep. <laughs> What oh, happened? Look at them at the back of the pool. Oh, dude. I've I, never seen me land quiet and nervous when kingy fishing. I knew that was going to hurt. And <laughs> there's some big kingies in there, man. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I want to be up the front. All right, go, go, go. Right on the pole that time. Oh, I wasn't even filming. Ah. Oh. He ate it right beside the boat and I'd push stop. I yeah, but I'd push stop record because I thought, oh, it's not going to happen on that cast. And he ate it right by the outboard. Sure did. <laughs> Sluggo saved the day. <laughs> Looks like a good fish, but I don't reckon it's anywhere near as big as the ones that we've seen this morning. Oh, that's awesome, bro. You got one, Milan. You got one. Can we get it in the boat yet, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this stuff, Milan. Why is it so cool? Oh, I hooked him on the outside. That's oh, hey, 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 hey. You just felt with it. <laughs> I didn't hook him in the mouth, man. Oh, you hooked him on the side of yeah. him. That first fish that came out was a absolute tank. He'll still be there, I reckon. Yeah. Just hopefully catching this fish hasn't uh, alerted them too much. Beautiful Harbour King. They've been really tricky this morning. Wouldn't eat a mullet live bait. Best live bait in the world. Woo! Go the sluggo, I say. Are you ready for the big one? I think so. <laughs> that was wicked. Oh, this is so cool. I think I'm gonna have to have a go soon. With the fly rod. With the fly rod, yep. Oh, that was a sane hit. Don't you let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Go Milan, you get that one. Oh, that looked like a real good one, bro. 
All I seen was a big mouth. A huge mouth wide open coming straight from behind the sluggo. Oh, it was awesome. I was going to get real interesting. <laughs> Yeah, he's real green right by the boat. If he does what harbour fish do, he's going to go for the motor and go for everything. Oh, it's a nice looking fish. Oh, brutal. It's a brutal fight. He hasn't even given up. He's just... He ain't even started fighting yet, man. Oh, man. Look at him. He's just shaking his head around. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Just the hook pulled out, bro. Pulled the hook out and he got the sluggo and everything. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Got the best out of that one, I can tell you that right now. He got the best out of you, too. Oh. Whoa! It's Nato's turn. Is it my turn? It's your turn, bro. <laughs> this is going to be good. I lost the fish, man. Yeah, that's the new rule on the boat, eh? If you lose a fish, swapsies. <laughs> oh! Come on, no, no, pull! Don't you lose it! Do your drag! Do your drag! <laughs> it isn't pulling any <laughs> What a strike! Oh, that was cool. oh, it's a big fish! Oh, that was cool, man. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> that was so freaking cool, bro. I got one. You got it, haven't got it in the boat. Oh, you got a hog too, bro. I reckon that's a real big fish, man. It doesn't feel real big. Doesn't it? Nah. We well, just made himself look real big when he ate. Yeah, it was a good eat. Woo! I'm gonna have to take my jersey off after this. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I've done such a small amount of fishing in the last couple of years. And to be honest with you, I didn't want to go fishing anymore. Big angry fish got a little bit hard at the end and was just, I wasn't enjoying fishing. And I think that's why I've enjoyed the filming so much. But now that I'm catching fish again, <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, it's good fun, Mingling. That was the most insane fun. eat, man. See what I mean about making the sluggo go fast? Yeah, I just wanted to get away from the pole before I started working it. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Yo, yo, beautiful hook set too. Look at that. Sluggo ain't coming out that easy. Not with that big barb on it, right? <laughs> I have to say, I'm really enjoying fishing again, and I can see Milan stuck behind my phone a lot more very soon. <laughs> Just be gentle. You did it! I got one! <laughs> Does that mean it's oh. my turn again? Because I didn't lose one. Dunno. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Well that was so, so very, very cool. I got a huge smile on my face and I know Milan's got one on his face. We only seen about four or five fish in there. Two live baits come off the hook. I know one of the, those live baits got eaten, one live bait got away. And we've hooked three fish, so I'm guessing just about every one of those fish in there has either been hooked or is full. So we're going to go somewhere else and find something else to do. And if that is anything to go by on today, then it is going to get serious real soon. There's got to be some real big kingies in the harbour somewhere. Hopefully we can find them. Come on, no problem, it's kingy freaking time! <laughs> You're a keen man, all right. <laughs> Yeah, take this, I'll go get my other time lapse. Can you stop it too? I'm doing the two knots. Are you ready yet? I'm ready now. You can go. Let's go. Talk about taking Man, I'm on. good at holding you up, eh? Yep. 
I'm gonna go chase some hogs, boy. Some real bus hogs. <laughs> You're gonna get smoked if you keep carrying on like that. <laughs> Haven't been smoked. Maybe only once today. <laughs> <laughs> Got him on the little livey. Ah, oh. oh. little livey gone. Put the hooks on him. <laughs> A lot of noise. Hi. Do Hi. a bomb, man. Yep. Whoa. Well, that's it. That's our day. Couldn't find a kingfish on any of the structures in the harbour, marker poles and boats and floats and. I don't even know what some of those things were. The boat was covered in birds was very interesting. <laughs> and I think next time round it's going to be a trip to the far north targeting snapper. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.